freedom! Finally! Now, Hans told me he had something he wanted to tell me, only... Everyone's here except for him. Where's he gone off to now? Boked. School of Witchcraft. Uringle isn't the friendliest kid around, so he's usually on his own. If he stopped yelling at all of us, he might actually make some friends. He always gets the best lunches. Those grapes look pretty delicious. Hey! I didn't say you could have some of my berries! Come on! You have, like, a million. So? They're my million grapes! Go get your own! How's it going, Uringle? Huh? You never talk to me. What do you want from me? Why are you over here on your own? What do you mean? I'm always on my own. Okay, then. Why are you always on your own? What do you care? You don't care about me. No one cares about me. Well, actually, I'm asking you because... Because you're a trickster! You just want to trick me! I know what you guys are like. Acting like my friend, just so you can take my stuff. But hey, I've never... No more! I won't fall for it! If no one cares about Yoringel, then I don't care for anyone either. From now on, Yoringel only cares about Yoringel. Okay, okay, jeez. Forget I asked. Enjoying those berries, I see. Very much so. And no, you can't have any. Fine. I was just making a joke. Yeah, right. You're just trying to trick me into giving you my lunch. You guys always teasing me, trying to take my stuff. But I... Ugh. Whatever. See if I care. I'll leave you alone, then. You happy now? Very. Hmm. They're my berries. My berries. Yeah, she's all right. She hasn't talked since the incident at the lake. Too bad some of the boys around here haven't had the same problem. Hey there, Yorinda. Still not saying much, huh? Between you and me, though, this thing with not talking, was it really from seeing the Weisse Frauen? I mean, they aren't real, right? Ugh, never mind. About the amber orb, though, when you fell in the lake, you sure you didn't see the orb? Because I could be wrong, but I think even if you did see it, then you wouldn't tell me. Because like everyone else, you think it's too dangerous. Yeah, I bet I'm right. It's there, I'm sure of it. You seem kind of lonely over here. I could be wrong, but you seem to keep glancing at someone in the yard. Aha, I'm not wrong. Is it, is it a boy? You can tell me. Well, actually, no, I guess you can't, huh? Let me see. I bet it's... It's... Hmm. Ah, wait. You wouldn't be the kind to fall for the popular boys. So that must mean... Interesting, interesting. Oh, well. See you, Yorinda. These two brothers, all they care about is looking cool and impressing Yannicka. This one's playing the I'm too cool to care angle. He's been trying for years and she still doesn't get it. These two brothers, this one is the tough guy. If the yo-yo didn't make that obvious enough. Something tells me his trick still needs some work though. Precious little Yannicka, always the one in mother's good books. I'll show her she's not always the best. I'll show both of them. Winnie, you finished detention. Are you okay? I hope Mother wasn't too hard on you. I'm fine, Yannicka. It's just detention. Not that you'd know what that's like. I know you're a tough cookie, Winnie. I just think that, well, sometimes Mother is a bit hard on you is all. <sighs> she has to be. With the Wanderer coming and the grades she's getting. Ha, exactly. There's no way she'll ever beat you, Yannicka. It's not a competition, Wilhelm. There's only one way Winnie will ever get through the Wanderer's Test. Diving into the lake and taking the Amber Orb from Vice Frauen. Don't even joke about that. You know what happened to poor Yorinda. Yeah, maybe Winnie could get some advice from her. If she ever talked again, that is. Yeah, well, maybe I will. Then I'd really show you guys. Winnie, no! 
The Weiss of Frauen, you don't know what they do. You can pass the test without a silly orb. I know you can. Weiss of Frauen, only you guys would still believe in silly children's tales like that. I have a secret advantage anyway that will make me ten times better than Yannicka. But, but it's really not a competition. <laughs> yeah, right. Here comes the science babble. It's not babble. You'll see. I'll prove you all wrong and win the test. Come on, everyone. It's Friday. Let's just have fun. Wait a second. Not everyone is here. Where's Hans? Do you guys know where he went? He said he was going to the usual place. He seemed pretty excited. Yeah, their usual little lovebird hideout. It's not like that. Ugh. Not everyone is like you boys, spending all day dribbling and drooling all over precious you-know-who. Who-know-who? No, no one, Yannicka. one, Yannicka. I can never remember his stupid code for the hideout, though. I hope he's written it down somewhere. Wilhelm, I need to ask you something. What's up, Wynn? Can I have a go? Uh, no. I don't want girl germs on my yo-yo, Winnie. Whatever. I saw you let Yannicka use it before. Yeah, well, Yannicka isn't a girl. She's a lady. Jeez, give me a break. You seem to be struggling a bit there, huh? Yeah, well, you seem to be struggling with spells, so there. Wow, harsh words. I just mean, aren't you getting a headache? It's called practice, Winnie. Haven't you heard of no pain, no gain? Wilhelm, without some kind of helmet, all you'll gain is brain damage. Wait. You saying you have a helmet? I'll let you use my yo-yo if you do. Huh? But wait, if you give me the yo-yo, then you won't need a... Ah, ah, that is to say, sure, I'll keep a lookout for you, okay? Cool, cool. Guess I'll leave it to you then. Good, you were ruining my concentration anyway. Hey, Jacob. <sighs> what now, Winnie? What's the deal with the flower? Is this some kind of fashion thing, or...? It, it's nothing. Yeah, sure, fashion. That's exactly what it is. Really? Because I don't know. It looks kind of ridiculous. <laughs> like you'd know anything about fashion. If that's fashion, then I'm glad I don't. Ah, forget it. Uh, hey, Yannicka. Hi, Winnie. What can I help you with? What did Hans say to you again? Oh, yes. What was it again? I wasn't really sure what he meant, but... He said he was going to the usual place. He seemed pretty excited. Oh, that's right. I can never remember his stupid code for the hideout, though. I hope he's written it down somewhere. Scared about the wanderer's test? Well... I suppose I am a little nervous. Ha! Knew it! I'm not. I have a secret plan. Oh, it's not your ghoul spell again, is it, Winnie? Mother said you shouldn't use it because it drains too much energy from people, and... It's not the stupid ghoul spell. Oh. Well, that's good. I think I'll be okay, though. Mother helped me find my familiar spirit. She says it will protect me and help me. Familiar spirit? Yeah. Mother says the spirits are like... An extension of us. Separate, but always linked. You want to know what mine is? It's a bear. Right. A bear spirit to help you. You should find yours, Winnie. I'll help you if you like. No, no. I think I'll be all right without a pet ghost. Thanks. Uh, never mind. I'm leaving. Oh, okay, Winnie. See you later, then. Gardening shed. Father was always working in there when, when he was here. Mother said I'm never to go in there, so there must be really cool stuff in there. Locked, as usual. It's not fair. I bet there's all kinds of fun stuff in there. <laughs>